Today we're at Jinx East Intermediate and joining us today is Beth Wilson who is a math teacher here. And Beth, I have to say, this is no math class that I've been in before. Tell us a little bit how you've incorporated the garden. Well, they learned the same things as we do in the math class. We did area and perimeter and volume today using the beds. So they learn how to do the equations and plus they learn the real world application of it. So they know that if they wanted to rebuild this bed, they can use the perimeter measurements that they did. Definitely. So do you find that it might stick a little bit better using the real world applications? Yes, and I've also, I teach language arts also, and at the beginning of the year, before they start writing really well, um, we plant something, I take pictures of all the steps, put the pictures up, and then they can write about each step. It oh, helps them. Oh, that's fantastic, yeah. Yes. So I, I imagine they're also learning a little bit about gardening while they're yes. out here. Yeah. They love to come outside. We come outside and do this. We also do a trail that's next to our school. So as much as I can get them out into the environment so they start to understand how important it is to garden and to pick up trash and just to help the environment. Yeah, and, and today we're not even out on a nice sunny day when most <laughs> people like being out of the garden. I, I bet the kids still seem to enjoy it. Oh, uh, they will come out any weather. Yeah. <laughs> and so you also have some stuff going on in your classroom, is that right? Garden yes, related? right now we're doing radishes. So we have some lights that they were growing radishes. Okay, and do you do that uh, with math as well? Or? We measure them to see how high they, and then they can graph it. Okay, to see fantastic. How, yeah. So what grade are we talking about? This, these are fifth graders. Fifth graders. Yes. Okay, all right. So Beth, how long has this garden been here? This is our third year. Okay. And we've learned a lot. We've killed a lot of plants, but um, we've learned a lot and we try to get as many milkweed in the bed so that we can attract the butterflies because that's part of the curriculum for science in fifth grade. Okay, and you also have some uh, bird houses or bird feeders behind us. It right. Seems. We got some really good, a good variety here in the winter, so we just uh, put that back up because the weather changed. Okay, so there's a lot of observation about nature going on that right. you incorporate as well. Yes. So tell me a little bit about the difference between a fall garden and a spring garden and how you incorporate that into the curriculum. In the springtime, we don't have that much time because you're just planting like hopefully in April, mm -hmm. May, but we do have a tiller uh, and it's really fun to watch kids use a tiller for the first time. <laughs> and um, we plant a lot of seed at that time and we try growing seed in the winter to plant okay. um, in the springtime. Yeah, so they get that whole life cycle. Of right. Things. Right. Excellent. Well, Beth, yeah. it looks like you're doing a fantastic job. Oh, I love you. the chalkboard paint that you put on the flower beds, um, the raised beds and things like that. Yes. And thank you so much for sharing this Oh, thank with you us. for visiting. Well, okay. okay. And what's our um, link? Nope. Link. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.